All right, this video is going to cover how to solve for missing angles with similar figures. Um, you just need to make sure you're aligning the proper corresponding angles. Let's check this out. Before we get started, you need to understand a couple things. Um, you need to understand that any triangle, its angles will add up to 180 degrees. The sum of the angles is going to always be 180 degrees. For quadrilaterals, like this square, you know that they're all 90 degree angles. We know that for quadrilaterals, quadrilaterals angles, quadrilaterals angles are always going to add up to 360 degrees. So the sum of angles for quadrilaterals is 360. So now let's just quickly practice this. We've got some missing angles. We know this is a triangle. We know that the sum of its angles are going to be 180. So we can go n plus 80 plus 45, and they'll add up to 180. You can regroup your constants and then subtract it off of 180. Now, if you're having a hard time understanding this, you're going to need to go back and study how to solve for variables and equations. Basically, we're just subtracting off the constant. Over here, You've got a quadrilateral, we've got one missing, we know that these squares mean 90. So we know these four angles are going to add up to 360. So we're going to have mystery angle plus 57 plus 90 and 90. We're going to regroup our constants, 90, 90, and 57 all go together. And then from there we're going to subtract off the 237, so you get M being 123 degrees. So hopefully you understand that. That should have been a sixth grade skill. Uh, we're moving on to the, to the seventh grade territory now. Okay, so this first one shouldn't be a big deal. They give you the description. Triangle LMN is similar to triangle XYZ, and they're asking about angle L. M of angle L means measurement of angle L equals. So they want to know what the measurement of angle L is. I recommend looking to the description first and seeing that L corresponds with X. Therefore, we're looking at these two. X has this little square in the corner here. That means this angle's 90. That means L is also going to be 90. So this one, there wasn't any calculation involved. It was just finding the corresponding angle. So moving on. So here is another pair of triangles, same triangles actually. LMN is similar to XYZ. They're asking about Z this time. So a lot of times kids will go, oh, Z is on the left, this is on the left, Z and M are going to go together. But you got to be careful. You need to double check the description. Z is going to go with N. Z is going to go with N. So it corresponds with N. So Z and N, they give you N is 32. So Z is also going to be... 32. We're moving on. Angle M. So here's where it might get a little tricky. Angle M, we want to find out the measurement of angle M. Angle M corresponds with angle Y. Well, if you look down here, neither of them have any measurements written. And this is where kids start to panic. Um, here's the thing. Earlier we established that L and X go together, and we know that X is 90, this is 90 also. So now we could call this mystery angle, and we know that three angles of a triangle will always add up to 180. So we can go ahead and say that. Mystery angle plus 90 plus 32 equals 180. We can regroup our 90 and 32. They're constants, they're like terms. And then we can subtract 122 from both sides. So your mystery angle is 58. So angle M is 58 degrees. Moving on. We have a quadrilateral. And it says quadrilateral MNOP is similar to quadrilateral ABCD. First, they want to ask about angle M. Well, they don't give us angle M here, but we see up here that M corresponds with A and they do give us A over here. So M is also 54 degrees. Moving on, we're going to look at angle B. We're going to look at angle B. Angle B corresponds with N. So here's B, here's N. N's 125. B is going to be 125. Okay, now we're working on angle D. Angle D corresponds with angle P. So hey, if P is 46, D is also going to be 46. 
So finally we have angle O. Now if we look up here, angle O goes with angle C, but we don't have measurements for either of them. But what we can do is use what we know to figure out this mystery angle. We know that M is 54 because A and M were corresponding. So now we're just going to call this a mystery angle. We know the four angles of any quadrilateral add up to 360. So there you go. Question mark plus 125, 54, and 46 add up to 360. You're going to regroup your constants and then subtract it from 360 and you get 135. Now over here they want you to find out angle C. Well you've done the work necessary. We know that C and O correspond so we just figured out O was 135 so C is going to be 135. And that is about it. I hope this helps. Best of luck to you.